In this video, I'm not just going to talk about it, I'm actually going to show it to you in a behind the scenes video of my KPIs and I'm actually going to show you how I did in October. So make sure you stay to the very end because I'm going to show you something really, really cool. People are celebrated for being the first one in their family to go to college. Well, people should be celebrated for being a first generation entrepreneur. The real question is, how do we build a real lasting business even if no one in our family can show us the way? Follow along as I interview others to find the truth about entrepreneurship, leadership, and finances, and grow my very first company from six figures to seven figures. I'm your host, Ryan Kearns, and this is First Gen Entrepreneur. Hey, how do we know if our marketing is actually working or not? Well, the short answer is we track our results over time. But then the question becomes, how do we do that? How do we track our performance over time? What numbers do we look at? What key performance indicators do we use? And where do we go from there? In this video, I'm not just gonna talk about it, I'm actually gonna show it to you in a behind the scenes video of my KPIs and I'm actually gonna show you how I did in October. So make sure you stay to the very end because I'm gonna show you something really, really cool. Hey, my name is Ryan Kearns. While you're here, hit the like button below this video so more people can start tracking their progress and making sure their marketing is working because more people will see the video. And while you're down there, hit the subscribe button because we're uploading videos almost every single day these days. and. You know, you don't want to miss out because we're giving you the tools, the tricks, the tactics to growing your dream business. And we're helping you get more sales, leads, and revenue every single day. So hit the subscribe button and go on the ride with us because it's going to be amazing. So the very first step to tracking your progress over time is actually creating KPIs or key performance indicators. Now, some people overcomplicate this and they make it really crazy and hard to understand, but what you need to know is that you have to have numbers that you want to look at because they're what you're tracking, they're what you wanna grow. So for example, I could say, I wanna grow my YouTube subscribers, so that's one of my KPIs. Or I can say, I wanna track my sales, so that's a KPI. Or I wanna make, I wanna make sure my cost per lead stays low enough so I'm not losing a bunch of money on advertising. And that could be one of my KPIs. So today I'm actually gonna show you my KPIs and I'll show you behind the scenes of me tracking everything that happened in October. Even if it's a little bit embarrassing because October is when I first started, so it's kind of you know shaky. It's not the best numbers and I'm not very proud of all of the numbers that I came up with here. But nonetheless, I'm here to show you the behind the scenes of taking a company from six figures to seven figures. So that's what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna show you the real numbers that I got in October. And hopefully I can make them better in November and that's the point of this exercise is to track each and every month how it grows over time. Now this doesn't have to be crazy complicated. You don't need some ridiculous software or, or you don't need to buy you know a new computer to do this. You can just use Google Sheets. So without further ado, let me show you my Google Sheets. I'll show you my KPIs and what happened in October and we'll take it from there. Let's go. All right, so as you can see, this is really straightforward and simple. We have October 2020 right here, and this these are my numbers. So my ad spend was $1,760. I got 63 total leads from that amount. My email list grew to 245 members. I only got two booked calls, which is a pretty big problem that I have to fix. I have eight YouTube subscribers, so crushing it there. No, just kidding. I obviously want to grow that number as well. My cost per lead, when I all I did was I divided uh, 1,760 by 63 and $27.94 was my cost per lead. I would like to see that go down as well. And then this is cost per booked call. So all I did was divide it by the two calls that I got. And honestly, one of those calls didn't even show up, so I should just say that the cost per call is this much, $1,760. So pretty high cost per book call. Don't wanna see that, wanna see that go down as well. So like I said, this could be a little bit embarrassing because the numbers aren't like absolutely crushing it, but this is something that you can kind of expect when you're just starting out. This is, like, like I said, I'm just starting to use online marketing to get clients right now. Before this, all of my clients came from word of mouth, referrals, networking, things like that. Now I'm actually turning all of my attention online to blogging, making videos, creating content, sending emails, you know, the entire online game. And uh, as you can see, this is how it's going. So it's okay, it's not amazing, 
but all I did here was I, it, it's very straightforward. You can see I, I just took the things that, the numbers that I think are important, put them here, and now I can look at them next month and then the month after that and the month after that, and it's just going to keep going. And hopefully I'll see some improvement. Hopefully I'll see this ad spend going up because I'm getting customers out of it. Hopefully I'll see the leads going up because I'm getting them cheaper. So then this number will also go down because they're cheaper. Hopefully this email list number will get up past, I want it over at least a thousand email subscribers. I want, you know, at least 10 book calls a month, if not more. And my YouTube subscribers, I'm working hard every day to grow that, as you know. So if you like this video, hit the subscribe button now so you can stay up to date and you can keep watching all the videos that we create to help you grow your business. So there's really not much else here. It's just really simple and straightforward. Just come up with the numbers that matter the most to you. Those are your KPIs, key performance indicators. The reason that they're performance indicators is I can tell by looking at this how I'm doing. If my YouTube subscribers are growing, obviously I'm doing well on YouTube. If I'm getting more booked calls, obviously I'm doing well with my follow-up and with emails and everything. If my email list keeps growing and my leads keep growing, then I'm doing well with my advertising and my cost per lead should be low as low as possible because that means my advertisements are really working so really straightforward really simple don't overcomplicate this just come up with a simple google sheet to track your kpis and it'll help you a ton moving forward so there you have it nothing crazy nothing over the top it's just a simple google sheet and i track my progress over time and it's important to do that still because if i don't track my progress how am i going to know if what i'm doing is working or not working and how am i going to know what works the best right so tracking your progress on these simple numbers really is going to help me in the long term as I see my business grow. And it's also going to be a great way to document everything and look back and, and really say, look, between November and December, I grew a lot in these areas. And what did I do? And then I can do those things again in the future because the number one rule of marketing, do more of what works and do less of what doesn't work. So there you have it. Start tracking your progress because if you don't, you never really know what's going on. You don't know if what you're doing is working. You don't know if it's not working. You don't know if you're wasting money or time and energy or if you're absolutely crushing it because you have nothing to compare it to. And it goes back to the old saying, don't compare yourself to others, compare yourself to yourself last month. And that's really what we want to do with marketing because if we're constantly looking at other people's numbers, Sure, it gives you something to shoot for, maybe some inspiration, but it's not realistic. It's not you and your business. It's not your marketing strategy. So by the way, if you wanna create a great marketing strategy that attracts leads, sales, and revenue, click the link in the description below this video. We're giving away a free marketing strategy workshop. It normally costs $2,000. It's only gonna last for this month only. So at the end of the month, it's gonna go back up to $2,000. It won't be free anymore, but right now you can get it for free. So click the link in the description and grab that while you still can. If you like this video, I have another video I want you to watch. It's about organic content marketing strategy. Just click right here to watch it. It's gonna show you how to create content in order to grow your sales leads and revenue instead of you know constantly having to advertise or spend money or break your pocket just to get sales and leads, you can start generating an audience and build an audience over time by using the strategies in this video. So check it out by clicking the video right over here. Again, if you like this video, hit the like button so YouTube knows we're awesome and it shows the video to more people. And while you're at it, hit the subscribe button because we upload videos every single day and we don't want you to miss out. My name is Ryan Kearns. Don't forget to click on this video and go check it out right now. I'll see you over there. All right, bye.